Hey golf fans, this is early 1981 and welcome to the final round of the Masters 2022 at Augusta National. Now a few of you guys have kindly recommended Big Golf Weekend 2020 to me, so we are going to check it out. Let's have a look at the course settings. Fairways and greens are firm, the green speeds are fast, time of day is noon and the weather is clear. We do have one tee option, which is playing 7,396 yards. And with it being Sunday, we are going to take on pin set number four, the Sunday pins, probably the most challenging of all the pins at Augusta. I cannot thank you all enough for the continued support on the channel. It truly is magnificent. And if you haven't already done so, please make sure to subscribe. So here we are on the first hole. This is the lowest wind conditions we've had out of all the rounds we've played this week at Augusta. So just going to try and take this down the right hand side of the fairway. We do open up with a perfect tee shot and that is going to kick over to the left hand side and leave us a nice angle into this first green. So 124 yards in, we've got a 7 mile per hour wind, anything too left of that pin the ball will slip into the green side bunker. So just try to leave this short of the flag stick and leave myself an uphill putt. That is tracking really, really well. Should get a firm bounce. We have done, and that is going to give me a good look at birdie here on the opening hole. Green speeds are 175, but it is uphill by four inches. Got to make sure I get it there. It's a good read, it's a good putt, and we do kick things off here on day four of the Masters with a birdie. But what about Tiger Woods, guys? The, the man's just a, a machine. You could clearly see he's in pain, he's struggling to walk around the course, but man, does he know that golf course. I mean, yesterday was a tough day for him, couldn't seem to get anything going, but I've got nothing but respect for the man. It's great just to see him out there in the course. I was surprised he made the cut. I think his one under on uh, Thursday, the opening day, was just uh, heroic. I did not expect that from him. And like I said, you can clearly see now that um, he's struggling around the course, his body's broke, but he's never going to quit. He's an inspirational character to everyone. And my man Cameron Smith, day one he was six under, stepping onto the 18th, he double bogeyed and walked away with a final round of four under. He really struggled Saturday, but he picked things up yesterday at moving day, and it really is going to make an interesting final round with him and Scotty Scheffler. I think Scheffler's got a three shot lead over Smith and hopefully Smith can put the pressure on him. So nine iron here, I'm totally hacking my way around the second hole. This needs to start turning. It should kick right down the slope, hopefully. Is it going to start turning down that slope? Reluctantly turning. It is going to give me a good look at birdie. Would love to walk away with birdie here after that terrible tee shot that put us in the pine straw on the trees on the left-hand side. It's downhill. That should really start to turn. It does turn right into the heart of the cup. And what a start we've made here. Birdie, birdie start. And we will step on to the third tee. Just going to try and take this down the right-hand side. Just applying a little bit of fade. The ball will kick from right to left. If I do find the fairway. There's a red slow white. That's going to put me in trouble. We're going to be in amongst the patrons. In the pine straw here. Hopefully I've got a gap. Huge red slow. I just do not know what's going on with my swing timing just now on Master. Certainly don't feel as if I'm swinging slow. Just try to find this gap. All I can do here is pitch it out and try and leave myself a pitch or a flop for the up and down. There's a very slow. The way I swing, guys, the speed I swing at, it's near impossible to get a very slow. So Frustrating to say the least. This is now going to be a tough up and down, but I am going to try and splash this. Hopefully it runs out. It's superb execution. Hopefully it starts to sit down. It is slowing up, and that is a really good recovery shot. It is going to leave me a four-foot putt for the par save. I really do think that's probably the strongest part of my game is my scrambling and in and around the greens. But I'm still experiencing far too many random issues with this game at times. I'm really in between clubs here, by the way. I'm going to have to almost fully deal off five. We try and land it on that uphill slope, defending the pin. Bunkers are really in play here. 
It's a tiny fast. That should really work out well, though. It's comfortably going to kick right and run up the, the slope. It will be a, a tough putt, though. I think this will be a downhill putt. Turning from right to left. Don't want to play this too firm. But we're really going to have to aim way left off the cup here and just tap this down the slope. You will see a lot of difficult putts on the greens today. Pin set number four is so difficult to get close to. That's a fantastic putt. It's just coming up short. And I'll take par on this fourth hole every day of the week, regardless of the, the conditions in the pin set. I really do think it's one of the hardest holes on the course. So hole number five. Just going to try and take this down the right-hand side, eliminating the bunkers on the left. It's a baby slow. We may actually find the light rough. This should kick left. But this really is a fantastic version. I've got no idea who designed it, but I think I'm going to put my neck on the line and say it's very similar to the, the course with no name. And I would say this is the Cleves work. The sculpting, the layout is so fantastically well done. It's got his name written all over it. This is a fantastic approach shot. This should kick over to the left. It needs to get down. Is that going to hold the green? Oh, that's a pity. We're just going to trickle off. And that is going to leave me an awkward chip shot. But yeah, this is a really good version. Certainly got the, the 2020 pins at Augusta, bang on, oh, nice chip it's a good there. chip shot, it is going to leave me a tap in part, and I will remain at two under, as we step on to the sixth, it's another tough pin, anything too far left of the flag stick is going to leave me an enormous putt, so just going to try and get this to the right hand side of the green, the full backspin, there's a slow, that is going to kick right. This could well be a difficult up and down from the, the light rough. This ball will not sit down as quickly as I would like it to. But full law, full backspin. Try to land it short at a pin and hopefully it does bite. It's a great shot. Is it going to sit? Come on, ball check. It's slowing up. It's going to be a missable putt. And when you start missing greens and your intended target, Augusta, as I'm sure all of you know, it's a tough, tough place. You really need to, to land the ball in specific areas. That should hold its line. It does hold its line. It's a fantastic putt for the par save. It's going to keep me at two under par. Hole number seven. This is actually a difficult hole. You really need to keep your tee shot down the left-hand side. And it will leave you an uphill approach shot into the green. There's another red slow. It doesn't feel like a slow. And that is going to kick into the pine straw, and that is going to be horrible. I don't think I'm going to have a gap to play through here. We can actually use this gap here. I'm going to have to fully fade this and turn this from left to right. Even if I can get this in the bunkers, I would be happy. So it's going to be another test of my short game. Big shot coming up here, huge fade shot. Surprise, surprise, it's another slow. It's actually going to work out well. It's going to leave me on the fairway, short of the bunker. It's going to be another splash shot. If I am too long, which I don't think I will be, we do have the safety net at the backboard there. But these red slows that I experienced, like, just there, I cannot explain them. Clearly something's not right with my swing timing at the moment. And I am hacking my way around Augusta here. But I still remain at two under par. Hole number eight, very good eagle opportunity here. Let's see if I can find the fairway. There's a baby slow, but surely that wind takes me round. It should kick left. Even that tiny slow, you couldn't get closer to the perfect. It's still keeping me out there. And this now is a good eagle opportunity. I'm going to have to try and play driver down the right-hand side into those mounds. That's what all the guys have been trying for this week, just getting the balls far down to the right-hand side of the fairway as possible. That's a fantastic execution. This should kick over to the left-hand side. That's course knowledge. And once again, just showing how good 
the course design is very accurate and this is now a horrible putt for Eagle, 22 feet out, downhill by one foot, swinging aggressively from right to left, I'm aiming at the guy in the, the red t-shirt here, just got a feather that's down and hopefully we get away with the birdie, that's a good exit, this has actually got a chance, stay up, get in, get in, oh my goodness how unlucky is that, what a fantastic putt. Really unlucky not to walk away with the eagle there. We do tap it in for the birdie. Somehow, I'm three under par. I don't think I've found many fairways in greens and regulation. Hole number nine. Just turning this against the wind. Trying to hug the left-hand side. The fairway does kick right. It's a baby fast. That's more like it. When I'm swinging well, it'll be a slight fast. Not these red slows that you're seeing. That is going to hold up in the light rough, but it's not going to be a problem. I do have the backstop to work with here. Just going to try and land this to the left-hand side of the flag stick. Oh, there's another slight slope. And look at the punishment there, Wisers. It's going to be pin high, I would imagine, but this is going to be a tough putt. It's got a lot of turn on it. There's no easy putt at Augusta, especially from this range. I'm sure by now all of you do know that putting is the, the weakest part of my game by a country mile. I think I've just under hit this. And I've left myself a tester here from five feet. This will turn. We power it in right into the heart of the cup and I do remain at three under par. Solid front nine. How on earth I'm three under with all the red slows I'm experiencing? I will never know. But just try to draw this, try to find the right hand side of the fairway, it should kick me left. Oh, it's a baby slow, that is going to kill the draw. This is actually going to kick into the light rough. Don't be obscured by this tree. If all the places it could have landed, just not going my way to snout. A centimetre to the left, I've got a far better lie. In the light rough, but this is what Augusta does, so just try to run this up the green. Ball is really going to turn from left to right here. There's a superb perfect. That should run all the way up towards the flag stick. This should be a really good birdie opportunity. Keep going, keep going, get in the hole. That is a fantastic recovery shot. And it just amazes me that I'm hitting slight slows, red slows, but my approach shots are as close to perfects or perfects that you're going to see. That is a fantastic birdie. I do move to four under par. This really is another fantastic version of Augusta National. Once again, just going to take this down the left-hand side. Fairway should kick me over to the right. There's a perfect early. Where's that been most of the round? That three mile per hour wind's not moved me to the right hand side at all. So I have actually found the left hand side of the fairway. The wind must have just changed as you can see it's with me. So water's now in play. I'm just going to try and play the slope that's short right off the flag stick. Six iron, a little bit of backspin. Really need to put a good stroke in this. I have done, there's a perfect, this is tracking well. Now this ball should start to turn left the last few yards of the run up here. Come on ball, there we go. It's another really good approach shot. Here we go. Ten it's left me another good birdie opportunity from 10 feet out. But I do apologize about the the last few videos guys and the lack of quality. Um, I actually enabled HDR and this gave us a great putt by the way. We do pick up the fifth birdie of the round. But this game just does not support HDR. I think it distorted the color and everything. So I'm just gonna have that disabled when I'm playing. PGA Tour 2K21. So, Golden Belt. Just going to try and land this on the left-hand side. Applied a tiny bit of drop. Oh, there's a slight fast. That's probably going to find the bunker. That's the bunker Tiger was in on Friday. I think he got very fortunate. He went all the way up the bank. Kicked back off the bank into the bunker. And I think this is the exact same bunker. This is a tough shot. I'm just going to try and play the downhill slope here. Land this about 10 feet short of the flag and let it trickle down towards the pin, hopefully. 
Really tough puck coming up here. Played it well. Should run out. It's reluctantly running out. It's still going to be a missable puck, especially for me. But, I mean, look at this for a tough puck. Three feet out. Aiming way past the flag. We do drain it with power. And that is a good par save. It keeps me at five under par. And this is a really good scorable hole here. If you find a fairway here, you really can pick up an eagle. It's a baby slow. I did apply some draw to that and it should kick to the left hand side. It has done. It's going to leave me an awkward approach shot in. But I will have a slope to the left hand side which you can see. That's my target. Try to land it on that slope and get the slope taking me down towards the flag stick and hopefully setting up a good eagle opportunity it's a fantastic strike that slope at my feet has moved me a lot more to the left than i allowed for oh we've not found the slope that is going to be a tough downhill putt for eagle now oh wow i'm going to have to aim way left off the pin here this is a nasty nasty putt another six feet to the right there and that would have set up a, a far easier putt for Eagle. Look how far left I am aiming here, guys. This is Augusta. Welcome to the Masters 2022. That needs to keep running. Needs to keep running. It's going to come up short. I can't believe that's came up as short as that. So this is certainly now a missable putt for Birdie. A lot of movement in this from seven feet. And I don't want to play it too far because then you're in bogey territory. Just got to be confident here. That should turn. Oh, it horseshoes and drops into the cup. If I played that any firmer, there's no way that would have dropped. I do move to six under par. We step onto the 14th. This fairway kicks from left to right. Just applied a tiny bit of drop. And it's another slow. I cannot explain what is going on with my tee shots today because I feel like I've got a decent rhythm going and then I pull off a red slope and yet again I'm in the light rough just going to play this backstop certainly don't want to leave this short so four iron with the firm conditions this ball should comfortably run up you can't make this up guys I'm hitting my iron so so well it's just my tee shots that are red slows that should start to come back towards the hole but it will feed away from it didn't really come back at all and this is another test and putt this time from 12 feet out these are the kind of putts you are going to have to drain at Augusta if you want to shoot well oh it's another putt that burns the edge been really impressed with how I'm reading some of these putts guys we will remain at six under. And this is the the real last hole on the course that's a really good birdie opportunity. I need to find the fairway. No, I'm not I'm not having it, guys. There's another red slow. I swung that as quickly as I could. Once again, I've missed a fairway in regulation. But do you know what? I think I can carry this. I think with a little bit of loft, a little bit of fade, I land this at the top part of the green. I'm going for it. It's probably the wrong choice. The crack shot's laying up, but I'm not a layup guy. Oh, it's a red slow. That's in the water. That's a, that's a mistake. That definitely was a red slow. Just did not follow through on my backswing there. And this is just about damage limitation. This downhill slope should add me a good three or four yards. So just going to play the partial. I got the 90. Oh, wow. That's came up really short. Got the partial. Probably overhit the partial. Red slow again. Maybe that slope at my feet didn't accelerate me as much as I hoped. And I'm having a nightmare here. This is a horrible lie, but I don't want to go past the pin. Certainly looking at bogey, potentially double bogey now. And this is what Augusta can do. 
There's a red fast. That's me trying to speed things up. It's going to be a nasty uphill putt. I wanted that about six feet short. Not 14. That's missed left side. So it is going to be a double bogey seven. I will slip back down to four under. A very inconsistent round for me. And at a place like this, on pin set four, on master swing difficulty, you just won't get away with it at this venue. Really in between clubs here, just going to slightly deal off six iron. Try and run it up that slope, play the wind. And see if I can leave myself a makeable putt. That's another tiny slow, this ball is going to kick right. And off the green. A swing timing today. It's been so inconsistent. I'm going to try and chip this in. I'm at the stage now, guys, where I really don't care what I shoot. Let's see if we can chip this in for birdie. Oh, that slight slow is just going to hang out to the right. Good weight, though. It's going to be a simple tap in for par. And I will move on to the 17th hole, where I'll probably hit another red slow into the trees so aiming is down the left hand side wind will hopefully take me round and it's a fast this time and this is what happens guys when you're really struggling with your swing timing it's so hard to correct it out in the course because you start to speed things up and it goes terribly wrong not reaching the green here just going to try and lay up to the right hand side off it hopefully we can miss the bunker that is defending the green there's a perfect goodness me this one's looking that should kick right no we found the bunker margins were were so tight there it's a nice plateau green here though so hopefully i can get this one close just definitely don't want to leave it short full off full backspin and see if i can get it to the left hand side of the pin should check it does it's another fantastic shot I would hate to think what I would be today if it wasn't for my short game. But I have played some really good shots as well. I think my iron play has been really good for most of the round. Just my tee shots have absolutely killed me. But too many of these slows have just felt random. There's a baby slow. And that is just going to keep right. It may kick left slightly. It's going to leave me another awkward okay, shot. Good Trees are in the way, so I'm going to have to, once again, turn this from left to right, fading it. Four iron. Can I carry the bunker and land this on the green? If we can land this on the green, it'll be a makeable putt for birdie. It's another slight slow. It's going to overturn, but that is a fantastic shot. Should start to run up towards the pin. Another six feet. I would have fancied myself a drain in this, but this putt's really going to turn from right to left. Especially at my feet. That's actually on a good line. Have I hit it? Oh, I didn't hit it. I didn't hit it. I had the read to. And I think that just about sums up today's round. But I will take a four under par, 68, round Augusta National on pin set four considering the way I played. That really is a good version, guys. Get out there and play it. If you did enjoy the video, please leave a like. If you are new to the channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button. And until the next video, take care. Peace out. And love you all. Bye.